Chicago White Sox. No more drop passes, damn it. It was two Sunday. And can we pray beyond prayer? That Deshaun Jackson will hurry up, get his butt back on that lineup. Because good God, do they need him. They really, really need Deshaun Jackson. They need that deep threat, creating space underneath for Zach Ertz. So the Philadelphia Eagles offense, devoid of a stout running game, by the way, there's no Ezekiel Elliott on their roster, can get back to doing what it does, generating points through the air. That's what they need to do. 888-SAY-ESPN, that's 888-729-3776. You are listening live to the Stephen A. Smith Show, ESPN Radio, ESPN News. That's one thing to get into. Here's another. It's time for the Dallas Cowboys to pay Dak Prescott. You see, as I watch Daniel Jones, I mean, John, did you know he got a nickname now? Danny Dimes. You know that? Danny Dimes. One game. One game. Brother got a nickname. Reminds you of Jimmy Garoppolo, right? When, when, when my girl Molly Caram and everybody else was calling him Jimmy G. And then we saw that video of him in L.A. Out with a porn star, so I called him Porn Star Jimmy. I like that nickname much, much better, by the way. So we have a situation where we look at and we fast forward to Daniel Jones, Danny Dunn. Plays for the New York Giants, plays one game, comes out of Duke, drafts the sixth overall, plays one game, throws over 300 yards, throws for two touchdowns, runs for two more. Clearly an impressive showing, an impressive beginning, no doubt. We wish him nothing but luck because the better the Giants is, the better football in the New York tri-state area is, and that's all good. But here is where we have a problem. So we want to rave about him and just bypass Dak Prescott, huh? We just want to look at Dak Prescott. Who's completing better than 70% of his passes. Who's undefeated. Who's watched. As Jalen Smith has gotten paid. Lil Collins has gotten paid. Ezekiel Elliott has gotten paid. All by Jerry Jones. But your starting QB. The successor to Tony Romo who has not missed a single game or a single start in 51 tries in his three years and three games that he's been the starting quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. He shows up to work every day. He's a consummate professional every day. He's a two-time pro bowler. He's winning more games than he's losing. He's got you to the postseason twice. And he's in line to get a contract in the ballpark of about $130 to $140 million. Russell Russell Wilson is the highest paid quarterback at $35 million. Ben Roethlisberger is number two this year at $34 million. Dak Prescott just quietly goes about the business of showing up, handling his business. And you going to send him out on the football field, Jerry and Steven Jones, with $2 million? You going to do that to him? You know good and damn well he could get hurt this Sunday. You know good and damn well how violent of a sport football is. Ezekiel Elliott has gotten himself suspended. He's gotten himself in trouble. What happens? You still go out and pay him. Leo Collins was a member of that offensive line that looked suspect for you last year. You went out and pay him. And by the way, I have no problem with either of them getting paid. I would have paid both of them because I believe Ezekiel Elliott deserves it. Leo Collins deserves it. I got it. And you want to procrastinate with the wide receiver? That's predictable. It makes sense. That happens with wideouts in the National Football League. I get it. But your star quarterback, who is a star, who has been nothing but a consummate professional, and a model citizen for your franchise for the last three years and three games, that Dak Prescott, 
You're going to sit up there and make this young brother wait to get his money. I think the Dallas Cowboys should be ashamed of themselves. I really, really do. The man is completing 74.5% of his passes. 920 passing yards, nine touchdowns, just two interceptions, a quarterback passer rating of 128. What's the problem? Y'all going to just throw him out there, huh? And you weak, pathetic, preoccupied Dallas Cowboy fans, just the trifling people that y'all are, knowing that you've got a gem like this. Y'all don't even appreciate him. Y'all make me sick. Got me up here defending a cowboy. I mean, what the hell has this world come to? I am defending a Dallas Cowboy. Dak Prescott not only deserves his money, he deserves it now. Right now. He's earned it. We sitting up in here in New York acting like Daniel Jones is Dak Prescott. We've got commentators and pundits on the air right now talking about how Daniel Jones is better than Baker Mayfield. He's one of the best young quarterbacks is after one game. Brother didn't even have a chance to pass gas or burp. And y'all already raving about him. Dak Prescott just comes to work every day. Does the interviews the way he's supposed to. Answers questions the way he's supposed to. Practices the way that he's he's supposed to. And performs at a relatively elite level right now. I got him number two in league MVP voting right now. He's thrown for 920 yards, nine touchdowns, just two interceptions. Has a 3-0 record. I got him number two right now to Patrick Mahomes. And we all know why Patrick Mahomes is number one. He's also throwing up. He's thrown for 1,195 yards. He's got 10 touchdowns, not a single interception, completing 71.9% of his passes. He's on pace to pass for 6,000 yards this year to break Peyton Manning's all-time single-season passer record of 5,400-plus yards by 1,000 yards. That Patrick Mahomes. That is the only reason. Dak Prescott, right now, is not the leading candidate for league MVP honors. Only reason. Only reason. And y'all going to just sit here and ignore this brother like this. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself, you stinking low-life cowboy fans. Y'all make me sick. All is bloviated by everything Cowboys. Cowboys, Cowboys. Eh, 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 eh. We them boys. We making noise. But when it comes to Dak Prescott, you quiet. Quiet as a mouse. Won't even come to his defense. I got some of you stinking no good Cowboy fans calling up to this show. I don't know about Dak, man. I mean, you know, I don't know about him, you know. I mean, he, he, I... He I Stephen A, but you know, I just don't know if he that dude. I just don't know if he the one. Never mind that he had Scott Linehan. Never mind that there was no Amari Cooper. Never mind that he had Cole Beasley as a slot receiver instead of Randall Cobb, even though Cole Beasley is actually doing a good job in Buffalo right now, who's also undefeated. Never mind all of that. Oh no, Stephen A. I mean, come on, dog. I mean, come on, man. I mean, come on. Ah, oh, shut up. Y'all are pathetic. There's one of the reasons why you ain't going to win. I'm trying to tell you something right now. This is football. It's incredibly violent. You don't send your star quarterback out there wondering about his contract when he's been the model of consistency that Dak Prescott has been for this franchise. I like Jerry Jones. That's my buddy. Steven Jones, I like him too. In the offseason, we're going to go out for a drink or something. I like those guys. But I disagree with them here. All joking aside, you don't wait to pay Dak. You got to pay him now. He should have been paid before Ezekiel Elliott. 
he really should have. 888, say ESPN, that's 888-729-3776. You are listening live to the Stephen A. Smith Show, ESPN Radio, ESPN News. We'll get to your phone calls. Got a lot of stuff coming on. My man Sal Palantonio, NFL reporter extraordinaire. Uh, He'll be calling to talk to us about the Eagles, who he covers religiously. Lives right outside of Philadelphia. He's synonymous with the Philadelphia Eagles franchise. So there's a lot to talk to him about. Plus, I'm going to get into the subject of weed in the National Football League, particularly after some of the very, very revealing and candid things that Megatron himself, Charles Johnson, formerly of the Detroit Lions, now retired, revealed about the NFL and his drug policy. You do not want to miss that. So stick around. Don't touch that dial. You're listening live to Stephen A, ESPN Radio, ESPN News. By the way, by now you've probably heard me talk about my computer career and think, nope, not me. I don't know the first thing about computers. Well, that's okay. You don't have to. Before they started, many of their graduates could turn a computer on and off. And that's it. Now they're IT professionals. You can do it too. Go to my computer career. 